Let's take a moment to check out the equalizer settings on your new Pioneer in-dash receiver. Even though your particular in-dash receiver may be a 1DIN model or a 2DIN model and may or may not have a CD slot across the top like this one, the button operation in this demonstration is identical for the following Pioneer models. MVHS 300BT MVHS 400BT FHS 500BT DEHS 4000BT DEHS 4010BT So from any source, and I'm on the AM FM radio source right now, I'm just going to press in on the volume control. And let's roll along here until we find the audio menu. Here's the audio menu, and we'll press enter. And now you want to roll along here until you find EQ setting. There we go. Here's EQ settings, and we'll press enter. The first thing we see here in the EQ settings is one of the factory presets. This is the flat EQ curve with uh, no boost or cut to any frequencies. Then we have the super bass curve, heavy on the bass side. Then we have the powerful curve, also fairly heavy on the bass side. Next up is the natural curve with a peak in the middle. Then we have the vocal curve with a sharper peak in the middle. And we have custom number one and custom number two. So it's really easy to just scroll through these settings. And if I want to try out the super bass setting in my vehicle, select that by pressing in on the volume control and you've changed to the super bass setting. If you don't like that one, we can go right back in there and try a different curve like the powerful curve and press enter to try out the powerful curve. If you like the, uh, the powerful curve, but you want to adjust it a little bit, we'll go back to that powerful curve here with it flashing on the screen. Now I'm going to press and hold for a couple of seconds. And that will open up the powerful curve for me. And we here we have access to the 13-band EQ built in. Right now, the 50 hertz frequency is set to plus one. If we scroll through the available frequencies, you'll see each of the powerful curve settings. So if I make any adjustments here, like we'll go back to uh, 5 kilohertz, and we'll press enter, and we'll make that a plus 4. And we'll go back down a little lower here. Uh, let's say 2 kilohertz, we'll make that a plus 3. And we'll go a little lower down to uh, 800 hertz, make that a plus 2. And we'll go a little lower again down to uh, 200 hertz, and we'll make that a plus 3. So I made some adjustments there. And uh, now I'm just going to hit the go back button and we are on automatically on custom number one. So I started on the powerful curve. I made I made some adjustments to the powerful curve and that automatically became the custom curve number one. And that's automatically stored for me. I also have custom curve number two. So if I roll over here, I get the custom curve number two. And I'm going to press enter there and you'll see that each of my frequencies is set to zero here. I have all the same frequencies. So any adjustments here I can make uh, is custom curve number two. So 50 will make it, we'll boost up things at 50 a little. We'll go up a couple uh, frequency bands. We'll boost things up a little. We'll go up a couple more frequency bands here and we'll roll it back. A couple more. And then we'll go up to the highest frequency band at 12 and a half K and make that a little higher. So now I'll go back and you can see that we're on custom curve number two. I still have all of my factory preset curves like the flat curve, super bass, powerful, natural curve, the vocal curve. I have custom number one that we built off of the powerful curve. And we'll go back and I have custom number two that I built from all flat settings. When you're done making your adjustments, just hit the band button to escape.